Hello lovely people, how are you all doing today? I hope you're well, I'm just sitting that way, I think I might have to shut the kitchen window. It's quite dark and gloaming in here isn't it? It's only two in the afternoon, we've got a bit of a thunderstorm rolling around and I think the rain's coming this way, where my window is open it should hit the window not come in that way. I think we're fine. Because it's a wet and thunderstormy day, I'm having a day at home, getting all sorts of things done. And one of the things I've done, well actually I did it yesterday, but I'm talking about it today, is... I kind of love the sound of thunder, can you? Oh, I think it's getting closer. This video is going to be slightly in two parts. I'm going to show you my shopping. Uh, and then I'm going to, I think we might go in the front room um, to talk about, yeah, some ideas about next year when I don't have a garden and my food. But anyway, let's crack on with this. I don't do these shopping videos very often. I've always thought, oh my goodness, how boring. But it seems to be there's something that people want to see. And I think, you know, me showing my shopping it might have a slightly different take on things. So maybe that's useful to some people. Now, historically, historically, for the last five years, I've allowed myself 10 pounds per week to go shopping with for any extras that I need above and beyond the food I grow. So that might be more food things, but it also includes anything else I need to buy, such as uh, cleaning products, lightning now, um, you know, lavy paper, shoes, clothes, books. <laughs> Can you hear the kids outside squealing? Um, so it, it kind of includes everything. So I've done that for £10 a week for the last five years. Uh, however, this year, I think it was back at the end of March, I think I referenced this when I, I was doing one of my low spend year um, videos, prices are going up, they're going up on everything, so I've increased my weekly spend to £12, woohoo! <laughs> um, now, on a weekly basis, there are some weeks when I don't actually spend anything, I don't buy anything. I've got enough to keep me going. Um, some things, you know, like rice or whatever, they last for weeks and weeks and weeks. I've got all the produce I need. I've got enough loot. I, I just don't buy anything. Previously, what I would do, if I didn't spend anything that week, I'd carry that £10 over into the next week, so I'd have £20 and, you know, maybe buy bigger things or what have you. This year what I'm trying to do is, on a week when I don't spend, or if I spend less than the 12 quid, I'm putting that into my savings account, my post office, my brand new post office savings account, which I had labelled my fun fund, and it is going to still be a fun fund, in terms of that's going to be the money that I use when I go away for a couple of days down to Kent in the summer with my sister to go and pick up Auntie Teapot. But beyond that, it's going to be relabeled my fuel fund. <laughs> I'm trying to put a little bit away now. I'm trying to overpay on my fuel bills during the summer so that come the winter and the next price cap increase, hopefully I've got a little bit of a cushion. And since making the decision to give up the garden, it may be relabeled from fun fund to fuel fund to now food fund. That's not to say I'm going to be starving, of course I'm not, but just that little bit of a cushion. Anyway, so that's all the future. It used to be £10, it's now £12. How did I spend my £12 this week? And I've just remembered there's something I've forgotten to buy, which I'll talk about at the end. It's proper lashing down now. The one thing I wanted to harvest was my garlic. I have a feeling now with all this rain, it's going to have rotted in the ground, so maybe maybe I need to start up a garlic fund. I might just give you a quick look at this before we carry on. Yeah, that's properly raining. 
and the distance has disappeared. <laughs> I might get a better idea if I tip you down there and look at my window I'm running. Oh, I'm so glad I decided not to go to the garden today because if I had persisted, I would have either been harvesting in this and getting soaked or sheltering in the shed. Oh, more lightning. Doing absolutely nothing. Oh, I love a stormy day though. And I love stormy London rooftops. I used to now. Look in my gutter. Right. This will pass, I think, fairly soon. So let's get back to the shopping business. Oh, and just to say, isn't that a beautiful sight? Lovely. Right, come on, shopping. I love a storm. As long as it's not a damaging storm, but I love a storm. I love it when I'm at home feeling all cosy and snug and I've got the windows all ajar, so I've closed them a bit, but that smell that comes is lovely. Anyway, right, shopping. So, I'm not going to put prices on the screen and translations into dollars on the screen because I can't be bothered, <laughs> frankly, but I'll say them. So. I had a couple of big items this week. One is Lou Roll. This was £5.84, which is $7.37. That's with my discount. I am a loyal customer at this shop. It's my local health food shop, so I get a 10% discount. Otherwise, it would have been £6.49, which is $8.19. Yes, that's more expensive than other stuff you can buy. However, a number of things about it. It's all recycled paper, it's made from post-consumer waste and it's in a paper packet. Now this is Eco Leaf. It's a brand I've been using for ages and I've shown it to you before. Previously there, the packets they came in, they looked like plastic, they weren't, it was potato starch and they've recently decided to change. I'm not quite sure why, I think possibly people thought it was plastic and threw it away. I used to chop it up quite small, add it to the compost, brilliant. They have just made an announcement on Ethical Superstore, which is an online um, place you can go for all sorts of things, clothes, loo rolls, household stuff, what have you. They did make a little announcement on there about the packaging. Um, they've been finding also, I think this might be the new one, this seems a bit tougher, the, the packaging on my last lot a month ago was quite thin and was bursting and, and ripping, so that's no good for retailers, uh, but I think they've got it right now, so the, the whole packaging can be torn up and put in the compost bin. The loo roll innards torn up into the compost bin. The loo rolls themselves are made from post-consumer paper waste. Great. You'll see a theme. If you've not watched one of my shopping videos before, you will see a theme in how I shop. Um, and it's all to do with the planet. And that's what we're going to talk about in a minute when we've looked at the shopping. So then I got myself some a new bag of porridge oats. Again, it's in paper packaging. So again, the paper packaging can be ripped up and put into the compost bin. There'll be zero waste from this. The porridge was, this has gone up. That was 75 pence in the US. That's 94 cents. That's a kilo, a kilo of porridge oats for 75p. That's still one of the cheapest I can get on my high street. And actually, never mind price, all the other options on my high street come in plastic bags. This is the only one I can get in a paper bag and it's from Lidl, thank you Lidl. Fantastic. 
Uh, then, and this is disappointing because it's gone from cardboard box to a plastic bag, but this is Arborio rice, risotto rice. This is shot up. This was £1.89. In uh, dollars, it's $2.38. I had it on my shopping list. I knew I wanted it because I've got squash that I want to use up. I love squash risotto. Risotto, I find, is a great way to use up odds and ends of other veggies. Just chuck them in. Uh, the risotto, a risotto is a very forgiving way of cooking things because the creaminess of the risotto is just so sublime. Can you hear me over there? I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but yeah, it's thundering like mad out there. So I'd made my mind up, I wanted it, and then I got to the shelf and it's in this plastic bag. It used to be in a cardboard box with a small bit of plastic film window. I could forgive that, take that up, that goes to landfill. Cardboard box, ripped up, compost. So, uh, I've bought it because I really, really wanted it and I'd set my mind on it, but I'm now going to be thinking twice. One, because it's gone up in price, and two, because the whole packaging is plastic now. Don't need it, don't want it. Sorry, did I jody you? This is a treat. Um, oh, this, this is a treat, but it's going to go into three different dishes and each dish will generate four meals. So this is gonna go into 12 meals, that's how I'm justifying it, is some coconut milk. Again, this is from Lidl. So this costs 65 pence, and that's 82 cents in US money. Now I call this a treat because, okay, look, it's in a, it's in a metal can. We can recycle that, I can take the label off, shred it, compost, what have you. I consider this a treat and a bit of a naughty because it's an import. Now, that's not, <laughs> I don't have anything against foreigners. Uh, <laughs> of course not. I love my Mediterranean stuff. I love my olives, my lemons. I, oh my goodness. But this has come further. So the food miles on this are really, really high. And that's something I really try to avoid, uh, is food miles. I make exceptions, I make exceptions for lemons, but they come generally um, quite slowly up from Spain on a boat, less impact, slightly less impact. Olives and olive oil from Greece, again, just slightly less impact. What I don't generally like doing is buying stuff outside of Europe, which is why, for example, much as I adore them, avocados, they are, they are a no-no in my house. Although a couple of years ago, Richard and Paul <laughs> served up lunch 18 months ago and it included avocado. And I think my noises made them frightened because I was like, oh, oh. Anyway, when I went home a couple of days later, they put two avocados in my bag to send me home with. But yeah, so I consider it a treat in two ways. One, I don't need it for my cooking. I don't want it. But two, because there's a lot of food miles involved. So it's a few and far between buy. Generally, I only do coconut and stuff if I've got friends coming over and I want to treat them to a really nice curry. That's what I'm going to do is one of the things is a curry. I just do it for them because it's nice. But I've decided, you know what? I need to treat myself sometimes too. Uh, I also bought uh, some apples. Now, I rarely buy fruit, rarely. I don't need it. I'm getting all my vitamins and minerals and my micronutrients from my veg, but every now and again, I just fancy a bit. So, these are six red apples, organic. The tray, great, it's cardboard, goes in the compost, but it's covered in this, it's like cling film. So when I unwrap it, I'll try and keep the cling film and reuse it rather than just put it in the bin. But oh my goodness, stop the packaging. Now this purchase, okay, let me tell you first of all, it was £1.99, which dollars is $2.51. That equates to, it's 33 pence each, which, or oh, didn't do the dollars, maybe about 50 cents each. 
you know what, that's one a day over the next week, 33 pence extra each day for a lovely apple, great. The whole thing about the organic, that's what we're going to talk about when we sit down in a minute away from the open windows and the thunderstorm. So in total, there's one more thing to come. That total is £11.12, so I'm right up there on my budget this week, which is about $14. But of course the majority, nearly £6, over half of that cost was my loo rolls. And obviously I don't buy loo rolls every week, so next week I won't have any of that to buy. Next week might be a no-buy week. Um, yeah, it may well be a no-buy week. And I might say to myself, okay, it's a no-buy week, but maybe get in one more bag of rice, maybe get some oil in as stock, you know, as a store cupboard. But generally speaking, that's an expensive week. Next week won't be anything like it. There's one thing I forgot to get, and that was some bread. So I go to my local Turkish market for that. I get a, um, a loaf of chorek, and it used to be 80p. I think they've just put it up to one pound. The reason I want that this week is because one of my harvests is the broad beans, and I just love broad bean mash on toast. I'll put a little um, linky thing up there for my broad bean mash. It's kind of like, some people call it broad bean hummus, it's not really hummus, there's no tahini in it. It's really sick. Oh, and that means I need to buy some lemons. That'll be next week. I'll put that into next week. I'll harvest the broad beans, I'll leave a few, have them fresh for broad bean mash on toast. It's gorgeous. So yeah, that would have put me over the 12 quid. I'll do it next week. That's fine. Now there's one more thing I got this week and that is... Washing up liquid, 750 mils. I can't show you the price on there because the sticker has well and truly disappeared because this is a refill. So the original washing up liquid cost, I think it was about £2.60. The refill would have cost, I say would, the refill would be £2.14. So about 50p less for a refill rather than buying a whole another new one. So the refill was the equivalent in dollars of $2.70. We're going to talk about, yeah, I know it's expensive. You can get much, much cheaper. I didn't pay for it though, because this is my lovely little refill shop that also does trade. And I'd had so much lovely rhubarb, I'd had loads of it. I've got a bit in the freezer and I thought the plant had gone over and it just kept coming and coming and coming. So I harvested a load more and took it to my local, my little shop and traded it in. They weighed it, they give me, I've got to remember, I think it's £1.50 per kilo of produce. They gave me a credit note and my credit note paid for my washing up liquid. When my laundry liquid runs out, I'll try and do another trade for that. So I haven't paid for washing up liquid and laundry liquid for about a year and a half, two years. It was just, hang on, when did they open? It was just around about lockdown. So last couple of years or so, I haven't paid for laundry liquid or washing up liquid. I trade and I get those back. Just to say, I did think in preparation for this video, I was thinking, okay, if you've got nothing to trade, if you can't do trade, um, and let's say you're paying the original price of 260 I did look up online at Ethical Superstore and they do a 5 litre canister which you can obviously decant to refill your own and that equates to, per bottle, £2 and 3 pence per bottle so 260 if you're buying the whole bottle new £2.3 if you get your own 5 litre to do your own refill with. Sorry, I forgot to do the dollars on that £2.3. It's about $2.55 or so. So that's my little shop this week. Um, you know, it may not look much, but when you consider I in storage, I have onions still, squash, tomatoes, peppers, myriad beans. 
I'm about to have fresh some broad beans and garlic. The only thing that's missing at the moment, I don't have anything leafy, either salad leaves or brassica leaves, that's the only thing that's missing. But otherwise, my stored produce and a little bit of purchasing from the shops, I'm all set for another week to two, well, in some cases, you know, that last two, three weeks or so, brilliant. But things are going to change. Things are going to change next year when I don't have a gun. So let's have a little chat and a think about that. Hopefully it's a bit quieter in here. You can see that over my shoulder. That's some of the vintage fabric that's been washed and pressed. Yay! Okay, so next year I won't have a garden. Um, so I'm already thinking about the ramifications of that on my food, my eating, my cooking, etc, etc. So when I did this, hang on, I'm going to shuffle. When I did this shop, um, I also, I sort of popped into, so I went to Lidl, I also sort of popped into and glanced in Tesco, it's a Tesco Metro, it's a small one, the local Sainsbury's, again a small one, and the health food shop, small one. Just to have a look at their produce section, their veggie section, uh, to see first of all about prices, but also about availability. One of the things that slightly concerns me for next year is not not being able to manage, uh, <laughs> I ain't going to starve. And actually, I think, well, I was talking the other day about cooking videos. It will be really interesting for me next year to start cooking with vegetables I've had to buy because it will change the cost of meals. So I think it's definitely a series I would, I would like to do. I might start off with cooking some of my own recipes that I've already done to see how much does this actually cost if you had to buy everything because I've never had that <laughs> not in the last 10 years so that's one thing I think it will be interesting and I'm you know I'm excited to do that and share that with you but the thing that does worry me worry is that the right word oh let's just dive in uh, is my ethical buying so outside of the produce things like the washing up liquid I just showed you, the loo rolls, they're not cheap. Of course they're not. They're, they are considerably more expensive than other products. I think probably in Lidl I could maybe get washing up liquid for 40p or something. But it's absolutely full of just hideous chemicals and it's not just the chemicals in the product, it's how it's produced and the waste chemicals and the waste of the production. It's all of that stuff. And I'm not having a go at anyone who uses them. We all have to make our own decisions and we all have to make our own decisions. Often it's based on our budget. And suddenly I'm going to be in that position too, whereby am I going to be able to afford those things if I'm having to buy all my vegetables as well? So that's one thing. And the second thing is, am I actually going to be able to buy all my vegetables as organic? And I just want to quickly say, buying organic for me, it's not about me, although obviously I don't want to eat chemicals on parts. It's about the environment. I do not want our fields sprayed with pesticides and fungicides and herbicides and all that stuff washes off into our streams and kills all our otters. I don't want that. I want to be organic. Two things with that. One, cost. It is more expensive. But two, availability. And that's what surprised me on this little shopping jaunt I just did. Uh, the apples I managed to get. I saw some organic carrots and some organic onions, but otherwise nothing. Nothing organic at all. Now, that's also just small local shops. Down the hill, a couple of miles, I've got one of these Sainsbury's that's a big, big one, you know, the saver centre type things. 
And I do know that they have a much bigger range of organic produce, both in terms of the fresh produce, but also in terms of tins of pulses. So I can get organic lentils, organic chickpeas, organic pinto beans, etc., etc. But that's a bus ride away. So for my shopping, I would have to factor in £3.30 on the bus. And if I've got a £12 budget, that ain't going to work. But actually, the £12 budget isn't going to work anyway. So I've already, I already know that I'm going to increase my budget to £25 a week, which is still less than the value of my vegetable growing was, but quite a bit more. Yeah, so it's going to be an interesting um, passage into that of can I still eat, can I still be really frugal, but can I hang on to my ethics? Because they're really important to me. And in a way, that's kind of, you know, that's been a sort of a baseline for my channel. We'll see. I'm... I think what it will boil down to is this. If I can't do, let's say, the loo roll, the cleaning products and organic veg, if I can't do all of them, what I will do is some research to find out which one of these products is the most harmful to the environment if I buy the non-ethical version. And if it turns out, let's say, I'm just talking off the top of my head, let's say that washing up liquid is the worst thing for the environment versus broccoli that's been sprayed, then I will have to make that decision of, okay, I'll eat the non-organic broccoli, but I will still buy my BioD washing up liquid, for example. I'm hoping that it will be, you know, a learning curve which will be of interest to other people. Um, it will be, it will be, it's going to be, it's going to be weird. It's going to be, I haven't bought a tomato in, or a tin of tomatoes. I haven't bought any kind of tomato product for 10 years. So the other thing will be, uh, just to say very quickly, I know this <laughs> for a fact, just from, you know, walking past the street stores where I can see the produce outside. Obviously, to keep it frugal, to keep it low price, uh, I'll be shopping and eating seasonally still. So much as I might want a tomato tomorrow, I won't be buying one. I'm going to wait till the end of July, beginning of August. They will be at their best, at their most prolific. That's when I'll get them at the cheapest. I did look last year, because remember we had blight, I did look into the cost of a tin of organic tomatoes versus buying raw organic tomatoes in season at the height of summer and spending the time to either bottle them or freeze them. And actually, if I factored in my time to do the bottling, freezing, whatever it is, it was cheaper to buy the can. And as I go into next year, I'm all about now, I'm all about recognising the worth of my time and my time will be better spent sewing and earning £2.50 an hour rather than bottling tomatoes and earning 25 pence an hour, if that makes sense. So yeah, it will be different, it will be interesting. I'll bring you along for that journey, of course. And... He is hoping that, you know, I can, I can get a balance of both, both frugal and the ethics. He's hoping. Anyway, uh, I'm actually now hungry <laughs> talking about all this food, so I'm going to scoot. I think the storm has gone. Um, that lovely smell, that lovely smell from the rain, after the rain. So I'm going to get on with other things, and the next time I see you, it really does need to be in the garden because I really do need to harvest so I will see you soon down in the garden picking some lovely yummy stuff actually the two things going to be picking harvesting it's gonna be the last time let's make the most of it see you then but until then look after yourselves cheerio